I want to welcome you to the June edition of the DTC. Uh, uh, has DTC has made this possible for the Cannon County Connection. And of course, I am your host or one of them for, from the chamber. I have a co-host today and Connie, my usual partner in crime, was not able to be here today, but I have a good replacement because Wanda likes to talk, and this is Wanda Thompson <laughs> <laughs> from the Blue Porch. Uh, she is the owner of the Blue Porch restaurant at the Art Center, and she is also the owner of the Blue Porch um, bed and breakfast. And what do you do in your spare time? Well, I, I, I <laughs> cater and I and I talk. I, I do a lot of talking. So, but thanks for having me as your co-host, yeah. Carolyn. I well, appreciate that's that. That's quite all right. I'm glad for you to be here today. And we have two guests today. Uh, we have a return visit from Mr. Harold Hurd, and he's with our Woodbury Detail Shop. And of course, um, he is a car care specialist. So he thinks everybody should have a clean car, and he can make that happen. I certainly do. We have a uh, full detail shop there, and we can uh, almost do it all. We can clean your headlights, we can restore your headlights, we can do your carpet, we can do your seats, we can do your windows, we can do wax, we can do it all there. I have one young man there, been has about 15 years of uh, detail experience, and I think we're able to do it all. And we're very competitive. We have some of the better prices in this area. We're the best detail shop in Woodbury. We might not, we might be the only one, but we are the best. <laughs> but uh, we just invite you out and uh, we have very competitive prices and we'd like to invite the whole neighborhood out and, and get as many out as we can. We're gonna try to run some promotions in a little bit where we can get people out and uh, we are, trying to get our uh, young lady back to bring her car back because we need to clean hers up. She likes to keep hers real clean. Listen, so. <laughs> Carol, today is not the day. Okay. It's been pouring down the rain and my okay. car's looking good. But, right. uh, <laughs> but we have, well, we are working on two today. It's raining a little You're bit. You're kidding. <laughs> yes. You're going to have to keep them in the shop till yeah. the rain quits. Yeah, we, we got two today. We have one that we're working on and uh, we, well, a lot of times we're getting ready for people that's getting ready to sell their cars and they're getting ready to up, uh, sell their cars and trade for a new car and we take them in and clean them up and get them ready. You're going to stage them, aren't you? Right. right. <laughs> we stage them for <laughs> them. Go. And uh, a lot of times we are getting them ready and we get them ready for them. And a lot of times, now we do pick up and deliver right here in town. If you're working in town here, we'll able to pick it up and uh, clean it up and get it back to you by the time you get ready to get off from work. And now, you, you won't pick up and deliver, but you will take cars that have come from out of town, won't you? Yes, ma'am. We'll take. We've had some <laughs> from. Uh, we've had some antiques from Nashville to come up, and we did some for them out of Nashville, Tennessee. We had some out of McMimble, and we had a lot of uh, show cars that uh, the cruising, some of the cruising people. We've we've done their cars, and we. We're really looking forward to expanding right here in this neighborhood and being able to give a good name for the business. We, we enjoy being in this neighborhood and we've met some real nice people here and we've been really supportive and we're just really thankful for Woodbury for the support that they've gave us in this area. Well, I think it's neat that I can just go up there and say, yeah. or you can come down there and pick up my car. and. Come yeah. back and bring it to bring me in a back couple hours. Yeah. I like that. Yes, and we <laughs> we are looking forward to keeping your car clean. Because <laughs> <laughs> it talks <laughs> like it's not clean that often. It is. No, he, she keeps, he hasn't <laughs> seen mine. <laughs> yeah. so. She keeps a very clean car, and that's why I kid her all the time. We have to really run after to the get only, a business because she keeps it so neat and clean. The only thing you have to vacuum is where I see it <laughs> in the front seat. Front so that's seat. it. But anyway, you do have, you do do a good job. Well, I'm, thank you I'm very just much. teasing you, but you really do. You know, you, you run up here now on a lot of competition during the summer months, uh, mainly because when the kids get out of school, 
Yeah. They're looking for up jobs. You know, you have a lot of sports groups that have car yeah. washes. Yeah. Of course, there's no detailing to that. No. That's just run water over it. And <laughs> you're well, on yeah. your way. But yeah. that's a fundraiser. Yeah, that we so. would we would welcome them. Our place will be open to some of the uh, school kids that wanted to come up here on a Saturday and wash cars. Uh, we could shut down the detail shop and let them wash out in that area there, so it wouldn't be any problem with us. Well, that's but, well, and when they hear that, that may make a difference. Right? And, and you mentioned that you can get headlights clear, so that that film or whatever gets on, yeah, from right. just, you we can, can, you can can clear that, that up. up. Yeah, that's, right. that's a good thing to know, because those are pricey to replace. Yeah, they are yeah. really pricey. Yeah. Right. So we talked to several people, and they said, well, no, no we don't want it done, so we're going to buy uh, new headlights. And I said, have you priced them yet? And we had a lot of them to come back to us and tell yeah. them that four or five hundred dollars. Oh yeah, to replace yeah. Well, I used a product one time, and I was out there sanding and cleaning for three or four hours, <laughs> and I thought, G this said easy. <laughs> well, as put as it on and wipe TV it off. doesn't always yeah. work as well as it should. <laughs> no, does it, it doesn't. Yeah. And, <laughs> so and, take it to him, let him do. <laughs> and did you, did we mention where you're located? Did yeah, we're located at eight o four Magnolia Highway. 804 McMillan Highway, right up by the high school. Okay. Right up by the high school. Right there. before you, if you're coming from McMinnville, uh, you'll pass right by it when you come into Woodbury. So you have a sign out there. You can call him. He'll yeah. set you up an appointment. Right. I, do you take walk-ins or yes. drive-ins? Yes, we do take drive-ins. We take the drive-in. <laughs> We'd hate for them to walk in because that means we got to go get the car. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, we do take uh, drive-ins when you can drive in and we can work you in and and get it done. And we do you have do you have a website that people can look at? No, ma'am. We have we're gonna have to put up a website or we are. Uh, I'm a little bit older than the computers. I understand. And, yes, I understand. <laughs> and, and I'm gonna have to get a little help with that. Yeah, because that, that's that's a big deal that people can get on yeah, your website right. and look and see. Yeah. I mean, but I've got kids, so they've made me do yeah. it, kicking and screaming. But yeah, I understand. Well, if. You have grandkids. They're yes, little. They can do it for yeah. you, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. My four-year-old. Oh no, that's your well, I don't know. Yeah. Well, maybe a four-year-old. Get your, get your kids that. to do it for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they can do that. Well, here we we're glad to have you in Woodbury, and I know it's a needed service, and I know there's people that still don't know you're out there, but um, if you come to our cruise ends and you're one of the cruisers. He also has a special of $2 off, and he is gracious enough to give us those coupons to hand out. And so you can always call him and set up an appointment because he does do a good job. And we have another new business plus a new member uh, to the chamber. We have Mr. Brian Bolton, and you are the co-owner of Miss Terry, or I guess it's just Terry B's Country Kitchen, right? Yes. Yes. And you're located on Highway 146 in the Center Hill community. Yes, to a 2442 Shaw Mountain Highway. Right. Right across from the Center Hill Baptist Church. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, we just opened about uh, four weeks ago. We have a full menu of, uh, you know, everything from appetizers to sandwiches to burgers to fresh pizzas to um, desserts. You know, we're going to be starting breakfast um, the Tuesday right after the grand opening, which will be next Tuesday. Um, We'll Your grand get, opening is Saturday. Saturday, Saturday 11 o'clock. And we'll have the yeah. ribbon cutting at, at 11 o'clock, and then I believe in the evening you're going to have some music, right? Yes, we'll do some kids' activities from 11 until like roughly 4, and then starting about four, between 4 and 5, uh, James Stembridge and the gang will be down there to play some bluegrass music for us. You know, weather permitting, it'll either be inside or out, but uh, and they'll play through the night for us, you know. So I think it'll be a good time for all. We can kind of accommodate, you know. Uh, Let everybody see what you have to offer. Know, well, I have know. heard one compliment. Well, I probably, well, I think a lot of people don't know you're there. <laughs> but one of the compliments I heard is that you have really good catfish. This is catfish country. And, but you have it every day, yes. right? Yes, yes, we're offering it every day. Um, you know, you can get one piece, you know, with some size, or you can get two pieces, you know. Uh, the portions are pretty good size. You know, we also have you know, tilapia, which a lot of the local people have never heard of tilapia. I haven't tried it, and again, it's it's a great seller. They they seem to like it, especially if it's grilled. You know, um, so it's uh, it's definitely a good uh, good product. All of our pizzas are fresh dough, no frozen pre-baked shells or anything. All of our ingredients are fresh. Um, you know, it's uh, we'll be starting um, some calzones and uh, spinach pies and broccoli pies. 
Uh, for those of them that don't know, it's basically just a dough, a pizza dough that is stuffed. You know, we can do anything from sausage to meatballs to, to pepperoni and cheese. You know, pretty much whatever you can get on a pizza, you can get inside. Yeah, it kind of makes them all like a pocket, you know, so, uh, <laughs> you know, a little less, uh, you know, maybe mess or whatnot, you know, to eat. But um, yeah, we say we have homemade desserts, you know, every day. Um, like I said, we have country dinner plates. Uh, we will be uh, this summer, um, hopefully by mid-June, we're going to have uh, ice cream up and running. So we'll have everything from soft serve ice cream to hard ice cream. You can do sundaes, shakes, um, you know, all those types of things. Um, and, and really, the little building you were in is a, um, or was and has been several things over the past. It's been restaurants and country stores yeah. and everything. And you will have some grocery items as time goes on. Not yeah. a lot, but yeah, just yeah. We're basic. Not do a lot, but just some basic staples, you know, just so if you're cooking dinner and you run out of flour or sugar or butter or eggs, you can just run right there and get it, you know. Yeah, we've eaten at your place. It's good. We, yeah. I'm really picky about my red sauce, and you had, we had spaghetti, so it yeah. was, yeah, we happened I, to be up on Short Mountain that day. Yeah, I wasn't there that night, but my wife had told me that you guys had come Yeah, in. yeah, we couldn't tell if you were open, but I mean, that's something that, yeah, you know, well, yeah, we just, we just yeah, added some stuff. Up now, yeah, the, yeah, you know, we have lighting, yeah. you know, everything. Yeah, the, the sauce was really good, now. and I am really, really picky about red well, sauce, so it was well, good sauce. So, that. yeah, we had a, it was nice. Your wife was really nice, and yeah, yeah you've got great parking i mean golly yeah. it's a great yeah. parking lot to pull yeah. in and exactly yeah well, even 18 wheelers can pull in yeah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah it's very nice Plenty yeah parking. well welcome to the restaurant neighborhood well thank you yeah. thank you so we, we're really enjoying ourselves here everybody we've met is so great this is a great community you know this has been an eight month process you know we came here six months ago to look at woodbury where did you come from originally we're from rhode island but we'd lived in georgia for 10 years and uh you know, me, my wife has been with, you know, uh, Applebee's for 10 years in management. I was a general manager with Shoney's and Cracker Barrel for years. My brother-in-law was the other partner. He's been with uh, Hot Rock Cafe and whatnot for years, you know. So all three of us have just been wanting to do this. And so we started looking around, like I said, eight months ago. And we found this place. And we all came here to look at it and check it out and look at the community. And it seemed like a real nice place to live and to grow. And, just have a nice, comfortable life, you know? I'm glad someone went in there. That little uh, building has been empty for quite some time. Yeah. So uh, I'm glad that it always looks, uh, I always hate to see empty buildings anywhere. Mm -hmm. That's one of my pet peeves. Well, yeah, exactly, and I, and I know a lot of people, it's turned over quite a few times over the last probably five or six years, you know, but we are here to stay. You know, we, we've come a long way to be here. Yeah. You know, we wanted to be here. This is a great community, you know, a great area. And we just, you know, well, and, and I will say there, you know. people are looking for different food at restaurants. Yes, so, I mean, exactly. I can I can speak yeah. firsthand to that. People yeah. are looking for different food. So. Well, and that's just it. We try to have a variety of different types of food. So regardless of your appetite or what type of food you like, we're trying to accomplish Accommodate, you know, everybody we can. And, and it's a work in progress. You know, we, we've, we've changed things. Like, for example, we did not officially start off selling catfish. But we had so many people asking for it that we said, hey, let's do it. <laughs> it's you know, a catfish we, we had we, we also have buffalo wings now, which, again, we didn't start off doing it. But we had so many people asking for it that, okay, we'll do it. So, yeah, I mean, if people have the neighborhood and the community, whatever they want, we're here to service the community. So... You know, if they're going to buy it, we'll get it. That's right. You know, yep. you know, That's we, kind we'll of Wanda's. It is. Model yeah. too. It is. Well, it's not, yeah, I mean, it's it. We're in the food service industry, and we're here to service the community. Mm -hmm. We're not here to tell the community what they want. Oh, no, I don't mind, <laughs> I don't mind doing that either. So. No, she <laughs> No, she doesn't. <laughs> She's not kidding you. Yeah. But, yeah, so, yeah, we're, we're looking forward to growing here, and, you know, it's getting busier each week, and, uh, you know, and it will. It takes people. time. It That's doesn't some... just happen oh, exactly. overnight. And especially when you're in, uh, out in a country community. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're relatively close to town, uh, word gets around quicker. But when you're, you're out in the country, it's your people that live around you that's yeah. going to get the word out. Well, exactly. You know, and that's exactly how it's growing. Every time yeah. there's a new face in there, it's, oh, my neighbor told me about you, or my cousin, or my sister. Yeah. You know, so yeah, the word is spreading. And I appreciate you joining the chamber. That's well, that's yeah, a it's a good no. it's a good corporate decision. It's a good community decision. Oh, exactly. And, yeah, we're yeah. all you know. And as we move forward, we want to you know get involved in community activities. You know, me myself. Be careful I've been what you wish for. Well, I've been involved. In, <laughs> you know, I was with Boy Scouts as a scout leader, scoutmaster for years. All three of my sons, you know, made Eagle Scout. 
you know, and then I, I got out of that about, you know, seven years in. I, when I lived in Cartersville, Georgia, I sat on the board of uh, Habitat for Humanity in that town for a few years. You know, it's, I'm all about community, you know, involvement and whatnot. So as we move forward, we definitely want to get involved in other things, too. And, and we've said a couple times, it's not what the chamber can do for you, but it's whether what you can do by joining the chamber for your community, exactly. too. That's, you know, that's exactly. kind of a... Well, everybody has to work together. Well, we welcome you, not oh, only you. to the chamber, but to the community, too. And, of course, I live right around the corner yes. from you, so <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> that's very convenient. It is. And, uh, like I say, don't be a stranger. If... As time goes on, you want to make another visit, just let me know. Okay. And, and their address one more time is? It's uh, 2242 Short Mountain Highway. It's the old Center Hill uh, Marketplace right across from the Center Hill Baptist Church. And you have a website? Uh, not a website, but we have, we're on Facebook. Facebook, which is, okay. Yeah, Terry B's Country Kitchen on Facebook. So you can like us there. We do uh, our daily specials. We post on that. You know, so, uh. Well, Brian, like I say, don't be a stranger, and we're glad you're here, and we certainly hope you do well. Welcome yeah, we to the neighborhood. It. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, Wanda, then we'll get into, we've got a couple of more guests here, and they have an interesting um, event. They've had the event, Are but we had it's the event? leading yes. up to another event. Uh, we have Dr. Michael Thomas with us Ooh. and Daisy Gannon. And Daisy is a pharmacist, and you are uh, involved with a uh, an event, or I guess that's what it calls it, We Care Canon, right? Mm -hmm. We refer to it as a uh, community initiative, and uh, uh, we see that as an opportunity to uh, to serve some folks in the county, in the, in the city, and the county that may need have some needs as, as school begins back. And um, our goal is to uh, reach out to um, up to 54 percent of kids in in the Cannon County school system have a uh, may have some needs as school starts back, uh, whether it's backpacks and school supplies or uh, shoes, socks, underwear, and that type of thing. And our, our goal is to reach these kids and make it a little easier on their family as uh, the school year begins. Um, we really believe that success in, in school begins with having a, a basis of getting there and supplies when you get there. And so that's kind of what uh, uh, kind of uh, got this whole initiative started last, uh, last summer. And I did help in that last summer in the fall. And it was a great event. You not only supplied shoes and socks and underwear and school supplies and backpacks, haircuts yes, we were, were the big thing. Uh, one little boy came out with a mohawk, and at that point, about every other little boy that came through had a mohawk, so <laughs> it was catching. <laughs> yeah, I think we had about 20 um, or so volunteers in the haircutting department alone, and I think we did about 70 haircuts last year. Yeah. And the Lions Club did eye exams, right? And, uh, hearing and vision. Yes. Uh, they were able to do both of those. The local physicians and nurse practitioners in the community did uh, uh, medical screenings, medical exams, and then uh, very basic ones. And if any problems were identified, made some recommendations to follow up with certain primary care doctors. And then uh, a local dentist in town also provided dental exams for, for anybody that wanted to stop. You know, one of the things we're going to really uh, push for this year is, is to emphasize, I think last year with it being a new initiative, was the fact that I don't know that parents and students thought, hey, if I don't, if I stop at any of these services, I may not get shoes and a backpack. But our, our goal is for everybody to take advantage of everything that's out there. And so we want to emphasize with, with this year's event the fact that it will be uh, the 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 take-home tangibles will be available whether you're in the beginning of the line or the end of the line and to really take advantage of those um, services, that free haircut, that medical exam, that dental exam, that question for a doctor, question for a dentist, hearing and vision exams offered by the Lions Club. And so um, all those services in addition to the tangible items that will, can be taken home that day. We're hoping everybody takes advantage of every station, uh, ideally. And as we, we believe, it's a full afternoon of, of um, providing uh, more than just Hey, here's some stuff to start off school, but here's a better way to, to have some success in school. Well, it's really almost a school fair, isn't it? Rather than just to pick up a backpack and shoes, it's really almost like, you know, you talk about health fairs, but this is really almost a school fair, isn't it? That yes, you, can, you can go in and get, I mean, 
And I would think, you know, right before school start, if, if you had a child who you didn't know had vision problems or hearing problems, this could really help them get a, you know, they got nice shoes, but if they can't hear, then, or have hearing <laughs> difficult. Well, I mean, that, but it that is really true. is a problem. That's very I mean, important. And this, it this is. gives them a head start on, on, on stuff and how they can manage it before they even get in, and a teacher has to red flag it. And, and you bring up something very important. That day, we're, we're not providing any elaborate medical no, care, no. but we're screening. We're yes. looking for problems. We're, we're answering questions that a parent says, I've noticed this in my child. What do you think? And, and, and maybe something that is very simple, maybe something complex. And the, and the physician, the dentist has to say, hey, this is what I'm gathering today, but I want I want you to go and have a sit down consultation with so-and-so and, and can make some recommendations that can better that child's health. Mm -hmm. yep. You know, one thing about an, something like this, it takes a village. It, it really yes, does to do mm -hmm. this because I know that it was initiated by a certain amount of people, but then you've got to pull in these volunteers. And I don't think, I didn't hear one person there that day that was complaining about anything. No, ma'am. They were glad to do it. You know, it's kind of uplifting that you see. The next question I'm gonna ask you, because I know I'll get calls about this at the chamber, but are there any guidelines as to who is eligible? No, ma'am. Um, we open this up. We don't ask for 1099s. We don't ask for paycheck stubs. We um, we simply, uh, the child has to be a resident of Cannon County, on, uh, and this will have to take place this year on Sunday afternoon, July the 28th at 2 to 5 at Woodbury Grammar School. But there's no no uh, income eligibility. We don't ask to see any proof of anything. They do have to be a uh, Cannon County resident mm -hmm. and uh, either registered in school in Cannon County or identified as a homeschool student of Cannon County. Right. And so that's the only requirements that we ask. Um, we feel as though if, if parents and, and, and children may think that they could benefit from this, we're, we're not to judge and we're, we're out there to help provide. We also want Good them answer. to have an adult super Yes. Right. Yeah, yeah you don't, don't, you drop mean, it, don't want off. your kids dropped off. And, <laughs> <No>. yeah. <laughs> and it goes both ways. Some parents just want to come and collect for the kids. Right. Yes, and right. We're, we're requiring parents to have the, the child with them. Mm -hmm. And we're also re uh, requiring the child to have a parent with them or, a or legal guardian, grandparent, um, and an adult of, of some sort. That's a so pre-K? Pre-K pre -K through, through seniors in high school. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And what are some of the items you brought? I know you have a whole pile of stuff. I do here. have a whole bunch of stuff in here. <laughs> and um, one of the things um, was just the backpack. I think everybody kind of uh, anticipates a backpack. Oh, and, wow. uh, in the backpack were uh, several items, as they call out here. Overflowing here. So we have um, markers and uh, erasers, uh, color pencils, uh, notebook paper. Uh, Pencil boxes, uh, things to, to, as you get this uh, started off. Um, some of these Scissors. items, like a um, like a dry erase marker. Not every class is required to have those, but um, many classes the teachers request these. Shampoo. Yes, hygiene products. Um, as they stopped at the medical stations and the uh, dental stations, they had toothpaste, toothpaste. toothbrush, um, tissues, uh, floss, floss, and uh, shampoo and conditioner. Pencil box. Pencil bar boxes there. So have you worked with the schools to get like a school list of things that they're required yeah. to have? One so of our volunteers mm -hmm. went to the principal's meetings and um, discussed with them what they would like to see in the backpack. And they made a few adjustments from last year, but basically, you know, we have a, a list for the kindergarten through third grade. Then we have the middle school list and then we have the high school list. Like graph paper is just going to be in the older kids backpack. So you've really kind of customized it into Very each customized. Liberal, um, which is really nice. High yeah. school, I mean, they're compasses, protractors, things like that, that, you know, fourth and fifth graders would use as uh, weapons uh, and <laughs> to be yeah. used responsibly yes. in high school age. Yeah. We're, we're proud that um, that it's not just backpacks and not just hygiene products. We are able to provide, um, our goal this year is to provide five uh, pairs of underwear and five pairs of socks and shoes um, for every student that comes through that day. Um, now your shoe station, shoe station mm -hmm. probably took a little more time for the fact that you can't just, I mean, if a child comes in there in eighth grade and you throw a little pair of shoes like that, you can't do that. They got to try them on. And I, I, so I it takes a little more time. Very important to emphasize, we had a 118 is the number kind of comes to mind, 118 volunteers that helped mm -hmm. make last year's Sunday afternoon event uh, a success. And those are all community folks, a lot of folks who had uh, 
previously given money and then had come and give the time, their day and their time to make this event happen. And so those volunteers worked the stations, provided, in, for example, a shoe station, asked the parent, hey, what size shoe does this child wear? Amazingly, a lot of parent, parents were uh, several sizes off and they would have to make two or three runs <laughs> right. to get the right shoe. Uh, a lot, of, So many children left last year with how proud they were to have this brand new shoes. You're brand right. Shoes. They yeah. were. Very and we proud. will say that one of the first things we talked about in our meetings for this year is we are going to adjust the shoe station and make it a larger area, mm -hmm. better for um, the that, process. That would be the one slow down, you know. Yeah. The, even the hair cutting went fast. It's yes. Right. It, it did. did. You had so many that it didn't take them long to give somebody that mohawk. So this will be your second year that yes, you, you're actually handing out backpacks. Mm -hmm. How have you grown from, I mean, you know, I know that, are you having larger numbers of kids that you intend to give stuff to this year? Or is that kind of consistent or, I mean, so how? So last year we planned for 700. Uh, and why we came up with that number, there's 22, uh, 20, 20, uh, 21 100, 2200 students in the county county system. Uh, we, we knew that half of them wouldn't show, which half statistics would say would need some of these supplies and need some of these um, uh, services and so we we projected about 700 we had 496 wow. students that showed up the day of the event last year and then another 100 backpacks were pre prepared that day and taken to specific students that principals identified and um and from there um, this year we believe it'll be a bigger event because folks um, people are aware of it they're aware of it they believe hey this is the real deal they think uh those folks had this lined up and ready to go last year and they were prepared for numbers and uh, we hope that people that need Need these services, need these uh, um, items, intangibles that to get school started off on the right foot. Mm -hmm. Will come out and take advantage of this. Um, oh yeah. With this, um, you know, there's a lot of businesses and individuals in town that have uh, that will help make this a, a huge success. Um, well, you just had an event. We did. That right between the rain and everything. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> raised uh, some money for this yes, because Saturday it does evening. take money to do this. Mm -hmm. We're projecting that this this event will be about a twenty-six thousand dollar community event this year um, to to provide that backpack, age-appropriate school supplies, socks, underwear, and shoes, and um, for for roughly seven fifty be about a $26,000 event and so uh, Saturday night we did have a luau that was um, hosted on Maple Drive and uh, we had about a hundred and uh 130s, 130 some folks in, in attendance that night that ate very well. Uh, some uh, uh, very nice uh, hog and uh, chicken on a stick. And Who fixed that for you? The Californians? <laughs> they sure did. Yeah, I knew they, they sure did. did. And, uh, <laughs> and the blue porch did all the trimmings uh, for the event. Sorry. And, uh, I was kidding them. And so they did all the trimmings and then we had a, a really nice Sunday bar. Um, the ticket got you to the event. It provided, basically the ticket was a $50 ticket. That provided you dinner that evening and admittance to the event. And out of that $50, um, we safely can say 35 of that spo would sponsor an entire child's, all the all the items for that day. So as you came that night, you got your meal and got a great event, uh, which included Hawaiian luau and dance at the end. And you also bought a backpack and all the supplies for one student. See, I couldn't picture you in a hula skirt. I, <laughs> no, no, I was just, I, I, I felt like I was doing the hula that. hoop that day, but I, I wasn't. I didn't get to attend, but I, I, I thought of you guys up there too. So The, the, the Caliponis, by the way, are an Hawaiian family mm -hmm. that has lived here for some years and they they can do the real thing <laughs> they sure can i have seen them do you know the individuals that night that uh that came came that evening uh, we had an auction um items were de uh, were donated and uh raced right at forty one hundred dollars oh the that's auction. wonderful that's and then we did a really event. incredible uh, little thing where we were asking for 60 backpacks in 60 minutes from the 60 from the seconds. 100 in 60 seconds sorry 60 backpacks in 60 seconds amongst the 130 folks that were sitting there and um, we actually came out with a grand total of 137 backpacks oh, wow. that were that was sponsored in That's one really minute. Good. That's really So good. that was really exciting. So folks that took the initiative to say, hey, um, this is what I want to do. And uh, right. as we asked for hands to be, that go up, you would see, you'd see a lot of ones, see twos, you'd see a hand of five, and then you would see a couple folks with both hands in the air saying, I'll take All 10 right. of those. And so All that was right. an exciting uh, minute. And was there a price attached to those or just whatever it was going to take? It was 25 and, and what we said is that $25 uh, adequately fills a backpack and all the supplies and all the hygiene products. And uh, we're very blessed that Souls for Souls, a nonprofit organization based out of Nashville, mm -hmm. does a lot of international work, but also takes care of folks here at home. 
Uh, they are um, they have committed to uh, donating 500 pairs of shoes towards this year's um, initiative. And which, they're, uh, they're is, shoes uh, the kids are proud of. Oh, yes, ma'am. They're well, uh, a lot of them are new. And uh, if right. they're not new, they're only gently worn. And so they're super nice shoes that they're willing to uh, help us out with. Yeah, well, that's great. I think that, I thought that whole thing last year was great. I, I really do. I think people are very fortunate that a group like yours, and I don't know how many's involved in it, really uh, take the initiative to do something like this. Because I, it's, that's a great thing for kids in Cannon County. I don't know that they even realize, maybe after last year, and the word gets out, but I think one thing that you, you have to draw the line somewhere. And so it is for Cannon County kids. Yes, ma'am. Because I believe you may have had some from other counties last year, right? Just a few. Uh, actually, I, I think it was a, we could probably count on one hand the number that showed up from other counties, and and we regrettably we had to, to turn them away. To turn them away, but we have to for the mere for the mere fact that this was uh, totally uh, Cannon County supported last year mm -hmm. uh, by only by com uh, businesses and individuals from here, and we thought that would be the only uh, fair ways to to represent just Cannon County. So, do you see more community members being involved in it this year than you did last year? I mean, are individuals. You Okay, without a doubt. Okay, um, folks opening up their um, their pocketbooks on Saturday evening was a huge uh, testimony to that. The fact that they paid a uh, hundred dollars a couple to get there, and then uh, specifically sponsoring backpacks, and buying auction items for you know it was things that. Yeah, for example, a signed Titans helmet. Not everybody needs one of those in their house, but <laughs> hey, it's at an auction. It's going to a good cause. I kind of like that. I'll I'll, uh, I'll drop a couple three hundred dollars yeah. on that. And so uh, individuals taking that approach. Well, we had a lot of people that came in Sunday for um, brunch that had been the night before oh, really? and said that they had just a yeah. wonderful, wonderful time. So I they had great feedback. From yeah, the really good time. So. Yeah. Well, once well, again, you know, I had mentioned to you this before, do a Facebook so you can yes, keep this up and keep it posted. I mean, because people sure. really want to well, know. they I mean, do. Yeah. You know, just get that up and going. And we were, we were very happy to be involved. That's Thank that's a good all. thing for us, too. And, and, and they are still taking donations. If, you, yes, if someone wants to sponsor a backpack, $25. Yes, ma'am. Get in touch with... Either Daisy or Dr. Thomas, and or uh, Ron Post, Ron or Kelly Poston through Farm okay, Bureau. Farm Bureau, uh, and and you'd rather have money than items. Yes. Yes, ma'am. And okay. the reason being, is I, I know. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. order um, right. a much better deal in bulk. Yeah. Some of the local churches will take on a um, like a specific item, such as graph paper. One of the churches will will provide those 120 packs of graph paper, or maybe that uh, 700 red pens we need, uh, as opposed to um, maybe buying that stuff in bulk. But uh, for the most part, money goes. Uh, a little bit longer in the fact that it also standardizes what the children mm -hmm. get as opposed yeah, to, sure. oh, I got this friend and, yeah. and not that and you, and you don't need to have, you know, 14 different kinds of toothpaste. I mean, right. kids like consistency. I mean, that really is. And, you know, we'd, we'd encourage your organization to join the chamber. We've got lots of advertising avenues that you guys and the way that we set up is we are part of Cannon County Youth Dreams now it's an yeah. event that Cannon County Youth Dreams oh, sponsors great. and we are members okay, good, of the chamber good, right. good. Um, we are a nonprofit, so if you donate any um, monetary funds we will give you a nonprofit. Uh, receipt so you can take it off your taxes. Oh, so. that's good, Stacy. I didn't think about you. And, and really and truthfully, that that this, you know, the chamber kind of gives you another vehicle for getting this word out, and you know, with the radio spots and the TV spots and all that kind well, of we stuff. We do that's the a really, radio too. Yeah, that's a that's a good thing. And I mean, and actually, we could do this again. When is the event this year? The, the event is the afternoon of July the 28th. It'll okay. be at 2 to 5 at Woodbury Grammar School. Uh, volunteers that are interested uh, will we'll put out a date uh, the day before to do kind of a setup and a mock run through so everybody kind of knows what to expect. That'll occur on the 27th and then uh, the event on the afternoon of the 28th. And uh, volunteers that want to pay part will need to be at the school between 1 and 1.30 to kind of be set up at their station. Right. I, last year, I, it was so amazing because you had it. For being the first year, really, I know there was parts that you thought, you, I can do better at this, but it was very well organized because you had stations for everything. I think I was giving out highlighters. You may, I mean, you, that, you know, and I thought, I think I could handle something else over here. Yeah, you know, the fact that the way we set that up was the kids went through, the children went through a store in the gym, and they right. were able, uh, we knew we had it designated to this is for kindergarten through third, th fourth through six, and then uh, uh, seventh, seventh through twelfth. And they specifically went to the station, and it right. was they said they were out the store. They were getting the specific item. Right. 
and they, it became theirs to put in their backpack. Right. And that's the way we wanted to, when they leave here, it's not here's this, but yes, this is mine and it's mine to use them to take care of. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, but yeah, my biggest thing was yes, yeah. what color? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Daisy, you look, you look a little bit rested -er than the last time. <laughs> rested -er is probably not the right yes. word, but you, you guys look a little stressed on Saturday. So. I don't think I've heard that word before, rested -er. But it's okay. We know what you mean. Yeah. So we'll invite, we'd love for folks that are interested in volunteering. Um, money uh, goes a long ways in helping make this happen. Also time, we'll need volunteers that day, as I mentioned about the times there and uh, the efforts. Uh, this is something we hope to continue year after year. Um, we're, uh, there's about five of us that are very much dedicated in, in making this uh, uh, continue as an initiative, kind of the core five of us that kind of begin, uh, kind of got this idea together in the beginning. And uh, we hope to see this year to, to continue for years to come. And I believe it, we truly believe it benefits um, Kennedy County students. We believe the success of the student can be bettered by uh, having them re prepared for school. Well, Teachers and principals will agree with us as they told us. We, so. I guess we don't like to think about this maybe, but there are children out there that go to school without food and a lot of children have a hard time getting basics like underwear, socks, shoes. Um, you don't think about that uh, unless you're in a position where you need it yes. and there are those children out there and if there's some that do have shoes and everything but still come to this that's fine too oh yes the cannon county thing yes ma'am now will you will you at some point give us grand totals and everything that you've done and how you've done it and everything keep us keep us updated on how how it went this year i mean we're we're kind of involved we'd like <laughs> i'd like to know so i can let you know saturday night was a huge success yeah. um the the overall event brought in about fourteen thousand five hundred yeah. before expenses and yeah. so uh roughly um uh that, that'll be about eleven and a half thousand dollar evening of, of profit Great. that's for, wonderful which that's is um really in good. our minds really more good. than um with the donation from souls to souls for the shoes that's we're already more than halfway there so it's wonderful businesses that are watching this you may notice we're, we're going to come to you that may have donated <laughs> last year we're going to be at your doors again in the next month saying hey can you help us out and uh and keep this initiative a, well a i'll take event. a backpack i'll just yeah. tell you right perfect now. we appreciate that <laughs> Thanks so much. I'll have to pay you later. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Let me uh, show one little flyer. I'm going to leave you five okay. of these. Okay. But you'll notice that these are around town for, um, and this is what the flyer looks like. It's just a reminder of the We Care Cannon, two to five on July the 28th at the Woodbury Grammar School. Kind of gives an idea of what happens that day, and uh, it just reminds everybody. So I'll leave some of these, and uh, these will be in windows. Uh, you'll notice these in windows of, of businesses that help sponsor. And if they're a sponsor, these are in the window saying, hey, we're a part of this, and also as a reminder for the community. Well, we thank you both. Congratulations. Thank you. Daisy, is there anything you want to hum a few bars of anything or anything? <laughs> no, I think Dr. Thomas is very passionate about it and speaks about it well. So we're just excited to do it again this year. Well, it's a good event. It is. And I enjoyed working. I was, I was glad to be able to work in it last year. I was. And well, I'm not just saying that. I and really was. We really like, the, as far as the Blue Porch, we like to see that our money is going in the county that we want it to go in. We like that a lot. That, that means a lot so to we us. Can so. assure you this. Yeah, but that's that's a big deal to us. I can so. assure you. I handed out no telling how yeah. many highlighters, so I know it's yeah. going. There. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for letting us be here today. We appreciate Thank the opportunity. Thank you very much. Okay, Wanda, we've okay. got a lot of things. May was a big month. It was a big month. And a rainy month, yeah, a rainy but month. it was still yes. a big month. Had a lot of stuff going on. We did. Uh, the Rutherford County Chamber, uh, we, were ho we hosted that, their after-hours mixer, and we had 12 county businesses that participated, and we provided food. Thank food. you. A type of food. <laughs> we did. Beverages, uh, music, cloggers, drive-in movie tickets. Uh, our local artist, Rachel Parker, was kind enough to paint a picture of the Rolliford County Courthouse, and she uh, presented this to their, their chamber. And um, that, that, was a, that was a very good This is gift. the first time that a county has ever done this in Rutherford County. They've always done it as individual businesses or groups of businesses. So this is the first time a county has actually done the business after hours. And I've, I've been in contact with Rutherford County, and they said that they've had huge feedback about this, oh, that well, they had good. a really good, re really, really good response. So Well, uh, we showcased Cannon County well. We did. And we did. Mm -hmm. Yep, we did. We had cloggers and music and <laughs> food and, I, you know, 
it's a networking uh, it event, mm -hmm. and we certainly did this. And you fed how many? Ones? I had, we fed 350 people. So we had. And we some had, of them didn't eat. I don't know why. Eat. Yeah. Well, we had we didn't. had we had beverages. We had beverages, and some people chose to have beverages rather than food. Right. Yes, they did. So <laughs> yes, I made but, a couple of those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that was okay. And then we had the good old days in Cannon County Ball. It was a huge event, even though it rained most of the day on Friday. However, the show went on, and it was a big success. And Saturday was just a great day. It was. And she had a, I think Connie told me it was wonderful. I thought after Friday, because I set up a uh, um, booth for the uh, chamber and I looked like a drowned rat all day. It rained all day on Friday until that evening. It kind of cleared up a little bit. But like I say, bit. she never missed a lick. Through all the rain, they were showing babies, they were showing dogs, they were showing the seniors, senior center. And it was, I don't know, Connie does a good job of dealing with that. And she has a lot of people from the Senior Citizen Center that helps her with that. But uh, one reason is that is one of their major fundraisers for the year. So uh, they did real well. And you know, talking about that, uh, I was handed a, um, well, I've missed it. I've lost it now. Nope, there it is. I was handed this and in June 12th, they will have Folk Fest Day. They have this every year. The Senior Citizen Center does. Uh, it's a fantastic dance group from Puerto Rico will be here to perform at 1030 with a potluck lunch to follow. And um, I believe that there was going to be uh, the Readable Mill was going to be involved in this. But at this time, the Readable Mill is closed. And so there'll be a another uh, area that will come up. And you'll let everybody know about where that'll be. I will. Yeah. I certainly will. But that's that's always a fun thing. They bring these dancers from other countries. And I know other uh, counties do this, too, because I've seen it advertised. But uh, it's always fun to go watch them. Mm -hmm. It is fun. It is. Uh, let's see. The Mule Show, always a big success. Good heavens. Everybody comes to see mules. It always amazes me. But they do. And they like them. And the Springs Fling on the Square um, had just brought a ton of new people into town. All the all the merchants that we've talked to have have done really well at the Spring Fling. We mentioned it. Um, we talked to a couple of them specifically. They said they had a good number of crowds in for that. These for were that new event. people. New too. people. And yes. this mm -hmm. is a new new event. Uh, well, I shouldn't say a new event because the. Um, Old Feed Store Antique Mall has had it for some years, but we have several antique malls now, and the other businesses in town kind of co-opt this event, mm -hmm. and so uh, people were happy to come, and they, if they go to one, they'll go to a mall, so I'm sure this will be a yearly event. Cruising on the square, good heavens. We had 110 cars uh, Saturday night, uh, cars and trucks, we had a record crowd of people for a cruise in. Of course, we have a DJ. We have 50-50 uh, tickets. And I believe the winner of that pot took home $140, which was, was really good. We have trivia contests, door prizes, and there's no fee. Uh, there's no fee for the drivers that bring their vehicle, and there's no admission to spectators. And so we'll be having another one of those. Now in September, that will be a little different. The fourth Saturday of that month will be the Color of Fall Car Show. And that's a different type of venue. There is an entry fee, there's trophies involved. So, and judging, the cruise ends uh, are not judged. You just come and sit out there and have a good time. Talk about everybody else's car. That's what happened. And then the Memorial Day trail ride hosted by the CCWHA was successful, and everyone that participated, they all returned. Even the horses, both the horses and riders, they all came back where they were supposed to be. So <laughs> we're all very, we're very encouraged that we didn't have to send anybody out looking for anybody. So that was a good day. That's always been, and they have two big rides a year, and uh, Memorial and Labor Day, and they have a huge campground up on Short Mountain, and they've purchased more land and adding new buildings and everything up there all the time. So people that like to horseback ride, and there's a lot of them, that's a great trail ride. It, it, even for the ones that they just have 
that aren't the two big ones. Uh, it's their good horse rides. And of course, that goes to June 15th. They're going to have a benefit ride for uh, Tim Nichols Memorial Horseman Hall that they're building on the campgrounds in Short Mountain. And you can ride, the ride will begin at 11 a.m. at the campgrounds on Short Mountain. They'll have hot dogs and all the fixings and pin, uh, picking and grinning and trail riding and everything goes with it. So, um, and all of the donations will go toward the building fund. And at the Arts Center this month is Ring of Fire. It's a Johnny Cash show. It started last weekend. It, it's this coming weekend and the following weekend. And it is a wonderful show. It's a very, very good show. Lots of local people in it that can truly, truly sing. So it's a good, if you haven't made plans to attend that show, there are still tickets available for Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday, and then next week on Friday night and Saturday night. And also, you have someone near and dear to you. I do. That is yeah. going to have an exhibit at the Art Center. Yep. And that is Aaron Thompson. And his work will be on display. Uh, Aaron is an award-winning photojournalist, right? Yes, he is. He, he uh, worked many years for the paper in Murfreesboro and has been nominated for a Pulitzer. And he's going to have a whole body of work that you're going to be able to see that just there. Was there was a couple of them in the paper. They were great. They were amazing. Yeah, he's a good photographer. He is. If he's I, a good it, cook, and he's a good photographer. So. Right. And yeah. that's the other thing. Yeah. You would never think this guy is doing uh, photography because he's helping her at the restaurant every he day. Is. So he's my partner. He yeah. is. Mm -hmm. And he delivers and everything, he and he does all these pictures that are amazing. Yeah, he's he's a good photographer. So his his we'll have a we'll have a little snack and beverage, you know. Some now that's on the 22nd, that's right? On the 22nd, His exhibit yes. starts the 17th, yes. but on the 22nd. Yeah, we're going to have a, a greet and meet and greet. Thing. Right. So, yep. So you can come down there and see his work and get to meet Aaron. He's real shy. He is just like me. He's really shy. <laughs> on June 22nd, <laughs> after his mother. <laughs> on June 22nd, second, the cruise on the cruise in on the square will take place from 4 to 7:30 p.m. All cars, trucks, and motorcycles are welcome, as well as spectators. No entry fee or admission for the cruise in. So, we've already known that we can get 110. Let's see if we can get 120 next week. Oh, next I'd time. love to. Yeah, that'd be nice. It? So, yeah. And I will say that every time a crew, uh, you come to a cruise in and bring your car and. Participate, uh, you get a chance to put your name in the hat for a drawing that will be held in October for the Toy Drive Cruise In, and they're giving away a 32 inch uh, HDTV, so you may be the winner of that. That's that's really good. A lot of it people are excited yeah. about that, but you do have to be present to win, so every time you come, get to put your name in the hat for that. July is coming up. And we might as well talk about some of these at the first of the month. Uh, July 3rd will be the fireworks display in Woodbury this year, and it will be at Dillon Park. And I have heard rumors that they will be taking, you can park around the square, and they will be having mule-pulled wagons that will take you down to Dillon Park. Where uh, in the past they have had hot dogs and everything, or you can bring a picnic lunch. I believe that Dillon Park opens up at six. They may have some entertainment for it, and then the fireworks, of course, start at at dark. So it's always a fun time. On July 6th, Woodbury Lions Club award-winning one-night walking horse show at the Horse Show Arena in Woodbury. This is a big event. Lots of people come in for this horse show. Hope you can make put it in your plans to attend. These are the horses that you see at Shelbyville. A lot of them will be here. Um, this is a fundraiser for the charities of the Lions Club in Woodbury, who does a lot of work regarding diabetes, sight, hearing, um, all of their charities like that, and this is their major fundraiser for the year. Plus, I work in this, and this is probably the hardest event that I work in every year is this, because you're there from, because the gates open at 4 o'clock, and then you're there until the wee hours of the morning, and that's unless I run out of ice cream, because that's usually what I serve, so. But it's a good, good event, and if you like the walking horses, you need to come to this one. July 13th is a goat, goat show. show. Oh, we've got it all. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you can't find something to do in Cannon County, you're just not looking hard. No, enough. you aren't, because that was my next comment here was, 
you can find something to do in Cannon County about any weekend of the year, and not just in the summer, but leading into the into the winter months too. We've got uh, a variety of places to eat. We have lots of antiques. We have a drive-in movie. We've got a flea market. We've got sports events, car show events, horse show events, and I can't. Even, can you think of anything else? Well, I mean, we we were just talking about the we art had a, center. Yeah, we had a group always of people, got something. Had a group of people on. that came in that go to TPAC all the time to, for a show, and they said they drop about a hundred dollars a couple or more to go to a dinner and a show. And at the art center here, you can have a dinner and a show for under twenty-five dollars a person. Right. And first-rate shows, and I mean, super they good food. They are super good food. <laughs> I mean, really good food. So that's where the Blue Porch is located. Yeah, that's where the Blue the Porch is located. Center. And so we just want to invite everybody. We've enjoyed being with you this month. I want to thank uh, Wanda for co-hosting with me this month. But um, I want to thank to our guests who were here today and, of course, to DTC because they make this possible. And hopefully we'll see you next month.